All right, kiddos, we're going to be reading the informational book called The Arctic Habitat, a Bobby and Kilman book. So we have the front cover. Take a look at the front cover. I'm going to just adjust this a little bit more so you can see all the pages. Okay, here's the, the title page called The Arctic Habitat. If I read too fast or you need to answer a question, please stop and pause me. This is the publisher's page. It tells us, you know, where the book was made. We have the table of contents. That's why it's called the table of contents because right there it says contents. What is a habitat? So these are all the headers or headings within the story, within the book, okay? So what is a habitat is on page four, everything they need, six, the Arctic, eight, Arctic weather is on page 10, Arctic plants, page 12, plants make food, 14, Arctic animals, 16, staying warm, 18, finding food, 20, getting energy, 22, staying safe, 24, Arctic homes, 26, going to sleep, 28, leaving the Arctic, 30, words to know, and index, 32. Those are the important words we'll get to. All right, so here we are. The first, the first heading said, what is a habitat? And here it is, what is a habitat? To me, I look at this heading and I was like, oh, they're gonna tell me what a habitat is. Sure enough, a habitat is a place in nature. Plants live in habitats. Animals live in habitats. Some animals make homes in habitats. Living and non-living things. So this is a subheader. We have the, the main header and then the subheader, which is what this little section's about. There are living things in habitats. Plants and animals are living things. There are also non-living things in habitats, rocks, Water and dirt are non-living things. Everything they need. Plants and animals need water, air, and food. Water, air, and food help keep plants and animals alive. Plants and animals have everything they need in their habitats. This mink found a fish to eat. So this mink. Homes in their habitats. Some animals have homes in their habitats. This mother Arctic fox has a home for her and her babies. Their home is among some rocks. The Arctic. The Arctic is a habitat. It is at the top of the earth. The Arctic is very cold. There is a lot of snow and ice in the Arctic. Polar bears live in the Arctic. Subheader, the Arctic Ocean. There is a very cold ocean in the Arctic. It's called the Arctic Ocean. Ice floats on the Arctic Ocean. Some animals rest on the, on the ice. This harp seal is resting on ice. Arctic weather. The weather is very cold in the Arctic. There are long cold winters. Winter lasts for more of the year. In winter, there, there are blizzards. Blizzards are snowstorms. Blizzards have strong winds. Sorry, I need to correct myself. Winters last for most of the year. Short summers. In the Arctic, summers are short. The weather is not very warm. The snow melts in only some places. Some plants grow in these places. Animals eat plants. Some animals, such as this grizzly bear, go to the Arctic in summer to eat plants. So here it is in summer. Looks a little different, huh? <clears throat> Arctic plants. In the summer, plants grow in the Arctic. 
The plants grow close to the ground because strong, cold winds blow. Growing close to the ground helps protect Arctic plants from these winds. Colorful flowers. Some Arctic plants have colorful flowers. This plant is a dwarf willow herb. It has bright pink flowers. It only grows during the summer. Plants make food. Living things need food to stay alive. Plants make their own food. They make food from sunlight, air, and water. Making food from sunlight, air, and water is called photosynthesis. Making food. A plant gets sunlight through its leaves. It also gets air through its leaves. A plant gets water through its roots. A plant uses sunlight, air, and water to make food. Leaves take in air. Leaves take in sunlight. Roots take in water from the soil. Arctic animals. These animals live in the Arctic. The Arctic is their habitat. The animals find food in their habitat. They also find homes. Snowy owl, polar bears, Arctic tern, Arctic fox, seal, caribou, Arctic squirrel. Staying warm. Arctic animals need to stay warm. Many Arctic animals have thick fur. The fur covers their bodies. This musk ox has thick fur. Fur helps keep the musk ox warm. Warm blubber. Many Arctic animals have blubber under their skin. Blubber is thick, layers of fat. Blubber helps keep the animals warm. This walrus has blubber under its skin. Finding food. Some animals must search for food in the Arctic. Some animals eat only plants. Animals that eat plants are called herbivores. Lemmings are herbivores. They eat grass. Omnivores. Some Arctic animals are omnivores. They eat plants. They also eat other animals. This ptarmigan is an omnivore. It eats plants, seeds, and insects. I wonder what the fox is. Getting energy. All living things need energy. They need energy to grow and to move. Energy comes from the sun. Plants get energy from the sun. Animals get energy by eating food. A lemming is an herbivore. It eats energy by eating grass. So the sun feeds the grass. The grass turns it into energy. Then the grass is eaten by the lemming. Hmm, what's this arrow for? Eating for energy. Carnivores get energy by eating other animals. An arctic fox is a carnivore. It gets energy by eating lemmings. Mm. So this, friends, is what we call a food chain. A chain is links together. So the lemming is eaten by the, the arctic fox. Staying safe. Some arctic animals hunt other animals. The animals that are hunted need to stay safe. Animals stay safe in different ways. Some move quickly. They can run away from animals that hunt them. This snowshoe hare can run quickly. Hiding out. Some Arctic animals stay safe because other animals cannot see them. This baby seal has white fur on its body. Its fur blends in with the white snow around it. The baby seal is safe because it is hard to see. 
Arctic homes. Some Arctic animals make homes. They keep warm inside their homes. This mother polar bear has made a home for her babies. The home is called a den. The den is in the snow. Making nests. Many birds make homes called nests. Snowy owls, arctic terns, and other birds make nests. In summer, these birds lay eggs in their nests. Baby birds hatch from the eggs. The baby birds live in the nests. Going to sleep. Winter in the Arctic is very cold. It is too cold for some animals. These animals go to sleep. They sleep all winter. They sleep in warm dens. This Arctic squirrel sleeps through the winter. The animals wake up. The sleeping animals wake up in the beginning of summer. They come out of their dens. They are hungry. They look for food to eat. leaving the Arctic. Some Arctic animals do not sleep through winter. They leave the Arctic before the winter begins. They move to warmer places where they can find food. These Arctic terns are flying out to a warmer place. Caribou groups. Caribou also leave the Arctic in winter. They leave in big groups. The groups of caribou walk to warmer places. Caribou sometimes swim across rivers during their trip. We have words to know and index. So this is the index that tells you if I want to learn more about animals, I would go to this page. If I want to learn about energy, I would go to page 22, 23. So this is where all the important words and topics are found here in the index so that if you need to go back maybe you don't want to read the whole book you just want to find about sleeping instead of reading all 32 pages i just read page 28 29 and 30. so that's what an index is for friends all right i hope you enjoyed learning about the arctic habitat